What's going on, everybody? Welcome to my experimentation station or experimentation stations. Ah, see that? I got <laughs> now they have two completely independent, uh, separate stations. I can now I'm gonna start doing the transmit on one and receive on the other, and then vice versa. All right, so I'm gonna walk you through the best I can. Like I said before, some of my other videos, I'm not the best at explaining things, I know I skip over a lot and. Uh, might be confusing to some people and I don't blame you I just uh yeah not not the best at explaining so I'll do my best here all right so I'm gonna start with station B all right now my station B is gonna consist of the Hermes Light 2 plus all right the QRP transceiver all right and my audio processing is being or cakewalk by band lab all right so over here I laid down a vocal track all right, that's my vocal line here. So I'm going to be keying up the Hermes Light 2 Plus right there. I can click play on there, and then Hermes Light 2 Plus is going to transmit that signal into a dummy load right down there, the black one right on top. All right. So right now, just for having fun, I have my Thetis going over here for the Hermes Light 2 Plus. Where are you there? All right. Since it's an experiment, we're transmitting a dummy load. I'm going to be transmitting 8KC wide. Right here. Of course, I'd never really be doing that in real life. I you know, because this is really wide, but like I said, it's for experimenting. We're having fun. All right. So, station B, or no, station A. I'm getting this confusing. Station A is my normal station. So, that, of course, is also running Thetis. But the transceiver over here is the Anon 7000 DLE Mark II. And that's going to be receiving what the uh, Hermes Light 2 plus is putting out there all right and that is hooked up to this bigger dummy load on the bottom i have two dummy loads i have them both hooked into a dummy load so at any point i don't have to worry about you know when i tr if i transmit either one they're both in a dummy load i don't have to flip if i had one dummy load I have to make sure you know it was plugged in i've done that before i think i've had to plug in a dummy load and i don't so two dummy loads now i don't gotta worry about it i can transmit either one all right so audio profile here I'm going to be doing, I like to do this. The reason why I like to lay down the audio track is now, since that's all pre-recorded, uh, I don't have to worry about talking and listening to myself at the same time and getting this feedback uh, through the microphone. So now that that's audio, me talking is already pre-recorded, it's going to go through all my plugins. And these plugins, by the way, this is just a real quick junk profile I slapped together. This, this is only an audio level check. That's it. I got I slapped it together and uh, got it sounding half decent. But uh, yeah, it's a little harsh, a little, little distorted on some of the low ends there. But this is uh, this is ground level, guys. So all right, so I can unplug the microphone, keep up transmit. Don't have to worry about anything uh, feeding back. And then uh, yeah, I can concentrate on things, how things sound. Because when you're talking and listening to yourself at the same time. Uh, at least for me, you get that natural, you know, you can hear yourself through your head and your ears, and that could kind of interfere. It's just dis distracting. It's just so much easier to do it this way. All right, so I'm going to be receiving over here. And, of course, I'm going to set my receiver being passed filter to match uh, the transmit filter on the Hermes. And right there is down here. This is also 8KC, 8KC mod. So you should be doing that. You should know that. If you're receiving anybody out there... Uh, to get the best bang for a buck, you want to match your tra or you want to match your receiver to whoever is transmitting, whatever being what they're transmitting. So, all right, let's get on into it. Oh, another thing too to demonstrate why this is really, really fun. I'll go with all these plugins on the fly. As I'm listening to the receive of this transmitter on the fly, I can come over here and make adjustments to the audio, and then hear the direct effect on through a receiver. Really, really cool. So to demonstrate that, this is my multi-band compressor. So during this uh, recording, I already did this, I'm going to be sliding this top group here, band 5, on the multi-band. Okay, that's that group of frequencies right there. It starts around, well, it starts rolling off right around like 4K. But at any rate, I'm going to be sliding this. It's going to bring this way up. I'm going to put a lot more energy in the high frequencies. So you're going to hear this. I'm going to do a demonstration. I'm going to slide it all the way down. I can slide it all the way up, and you're going to hear and see that on the spectral display. It's really, really cool. And then you slide it right back down to where it is. Seems like it'd be a happy medium. So just to demonstrate the how cool this is, you can really dial in audio profiles if you want to do a uh, really tailor like a, like a 2.9 KC audio profile. 
Just lay down a vocal track up there, run through your plugins, click play, transmit, and listen to it on the receiver here. And then at the same time, make adjustments over here to the uh, transmitter audio profile so you can hear instantly how it sounds. Or if you want to t t dial in, I don't know, like an AKC profile, whatever it is. It's a really great way of really dialing, dialing it in. Everything is under my control right here. This is a good baseline. Anytime I'm, I find, at least for me, doing experiments, you want to get a good baseline to control. So, uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing here. Everything under my control into a dummy load. I'm not bugging anybody. Nobody can hear what I'm doing. And my secrecy up here in my crazy mad scientist lab. <laughs> All right, let's get on into it, and then I'll catch you guys later. KP68, free and clear. All right, let's go. Okay, here we are on my A station running my Apache Labs non 7000 DLE Mark II receiver. And then, okay, hold on, I'm going to uh, reach over. But well, before I do this, I'm not going to, I'm going to try not to move my mouse. Sometimes, not always, if I'm receiving somebody, especially at a very wide uh, audio uh, receive bandwidth, when I move my mouse across the screen, it uh, I get these weird snaps and pops. I can't account for that. So I'm not going to move this mouse over uh, here when I'm doing the uh, transmit or receive on this so all right you know uh start this and once again uh station b audio profile I just slapped together so it's could be a little harsh i hear some distortion in there but you get the picture here okay say turns on okay make sure my screen captures go up in the audio yes it is okay pause and you'll hear me sliding that group um being five on my compressor uh multi being compressor just to show you uh, the effects of that. So, all right, here we go. Just a junk audio profile on station B. Having a little fun. Okay, I'm going to, I'm reaching over to station B. I'm going to put Hermes in the transmit. It is. And okay, reaching over. Okay, here we go. I'm going to play this audio track. Here we go. Okay, here we go. This is my B station. The B station consists of the Hermes Light 2 Plus. The audio processing is Cakewalk by Bean Lab. I always get those two mixed up. I would say Bean Lab by Cakewalk. It's Cakewalk by Bean Lab, and it's free. And slide the scrooping right. down on so the So Hermes Light 2 Plus, Cakewalk, and then the interface box is the Scarlet Solo Focus Ray. Right. All the way up. And then that goes into the B-Link Mini Computer. Now, B-Link Mini Computer and then is uh, good for what I need it for. It, it's a uh, little hard on it doing any kind of uh, video editing on it. So I, I, I did download the software on it. I had the free version, and it kind of struggled with it a little bit so it is what it is so the b-link mini computer is good enough for my hermes light 2 plus and the uh screen capture uh software so anyhow and then uh what you're seeing this on i'm receiving this on my a station the a station consists of of course thetis they both run thetis by the way uh now yeah okay so it's my a station running my non 7000 dle mark ii so transmitting on the Hermes Light 2 Plus and is uh, receiving on my non-7000 DLE uh, Mark II. So it's pretty interesting. So as I'm transmitting this, I can listen to it in my receiver on the A station, but reach over and make audio adjustments on Hermes Light 2 Plus, my B station transmitter. So it's a great way of dialing in your audio, especially if you want to get a, like a 4K profile or if you're interested, get like a 5K profile and on up or even like a 2.9 uh, KC profile. You can really dial in those audio profiles per uh, transmit bandwidth you want. So pretty cool stuff. All right, I'm going to hang up the phone here. Catch you guys later. KP68, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania on this experimental setup. Click, click. Okay, I'm going to uh, take the Hermes Light 2 Plus out of transmit on station B. Even though it's a sideband, it shouldn't matter, but okay. And I'm going to stop that cakewalk recording. All right, I'm going to uh, turn this off. So there you go. Really cool stuff. Uh, yeah, not bad for just a toss together audio profile on the B station. But uh, in, the up, uh, in an upcoming video, I'll do the reverse. I'll transmit on here, station A, and record it on station B. So <laughs> I'm still trying to get all the levels set straight. If you noticed, um, I want to get some natural noise in there to kind of simulate uh, exactly how you would hear another signal on, on the band. Um, I could dial this up, so I'm getting, I'm hitting myself with, I'm hitting myself with 30 dB. <laughs> but I want to bring that down just a hair, get some natural noise in there to get like a more natural feel. Uh, like I was just, uh, you know, listening to anybody else on the band. 
So anyhow, all right, need to get out of here and I'll be back with uh, more cool videos. KP68, free and clear. Click, click.